the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 260. Daniel 1 to 2. Daniel sketching out the changes of the empires. Through Daniel, who made a firm choice by deciding to do the will of God despite being a captive, God's will was conveyed to those who ruled empires. First point, Daniel was the prophet who sketched out the five empires in the Bible, Assyria, Babylon, Persia, Hellas, and Rome. Daniel and his three friends were taken to Babylon during the first round in 605 BC. The second round of captives were taken 11 years before the fall of South Judah, and the people taken were King Jehoiachin, Ezekiel, and some 10,000 skilled workers. This showed that God's work did not only occur in the land of Canaan. Now these people were to become good figs in the kingdom of priests. Daniel was especially a brilliant figure who rose to the top of the administrative ladder in both Babylon and Persia. God also gave Daniel visions during his prayers, and he became a man of deep spirituality. When Daniel was born, the empire to hold the most influential power was Assyria. However, the country he was taken to was Babylon. Later on, Babylon fell and he then lived in Persia. In other words, Daniel experienced the changing of empires during his lifetime, and he proclaimed the prophecy about the five empires in the Bible, Assyria, Babylon, Persia, Hellas, and Rome. Second point, Nebuchadnezzar's ideological education and Jeremiah's a kingdom of priests education met through Daniel. When the Babylonian Empire besieged South Judah, they demanded tribute as well as outstanding young men to be taken as captives to Babylon. And thus, Daniel and his three friends were taken to Babylon. But here lied God's great plan. God had already spoken of this through the prophet Jeremiah. God intended to show Daniel the difference between a kingdom of priests and an empire. The Babylonian empire governed their conquered countries via two tracks. The first was their ideological education, which involved taking 0.1% of the most brilliant young men and educating them in the ways of Babylon. The second track was to send these young men back after their training and then make them govern their people in the Babylonian way. The young men were given the food and education of the Babylonian king. They were also taught the Babylonian language. Another important aspect was learning about the ways of the Babylonian empire. Daniel and his three friends managed to obtain the most prestigious grades. Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon planned to bring in the elite from his conquered countries and then make them implement the Babylonian ways back in their countries. However, God's plan expanded beyond that of Nebuchadnezzar's. God intended to use Nebuchadnezzar's vision to implement and carry out his vision of world management and make the people of Israel into good figs in a kingdom of prestige. Third point, Daniel decided to eat according to the laws in a kingdom of prestige. Daniel was provided with the king's food and wine. However, the food provided by Babylon did not agree with the food listed in Leviticus. Thus, Daniel decided not to eat this food. This was putting his life at risk. When Ashpenaz, the chief of the court officials, heard of Daniel's request, 
to not eat the food. He said no, and his own life was also at risk. Thus, Daniel made a deal with him. The food that Daniel decided to have was according to the list in Leviticus chapter 11. This was a record made 900 years ago by Moses. Daniel decided this in order to prove just how outstanding a kingdom of priests was. Fourth point, the Egyptian pharaoh requested the interpretation of his dream and the Babylonian king requested both the contents and interpretations of his dream. Back in Genesis, the pharaoh wanted Joseph to interpret his dream. But Nebuchadnezzar in Babylon asked his wise men to interpret his dream without telling them the dream itself. And so, when his men heard this, they all laughed at his ridiculousness. Nebuchadnezzar warned that he would not be fooled by them. Nebuchadnezzar fumed in anger and said he would kill all the wise men. Different to the everyday man, Nebuchadnezzar's words were law. His words had the power to kill Zedekiah's two sons and also to gouge out Zedekiah's eyes. Knowing this, Daniel turned to God for help. Thankfully, Daniel had the knowledge of the records in Genesis about Joseph. Daniel knew that it was God who gave wisdom and visions, and he also asked his friends to pray for him. Fifth point, through Nebuchadnezzar's dream, Daniel was able to find out that God governs the whole world and that wisdom and power comes from God alone. God heard the prayers of Daniel and his three friends and granted their requests. Daniel praised God. Daniel's prayer contained the knowledge and faith in the kingdom of priests. In his prayer, he praised God who created the universe and who changes times and seasons. He also praised God who governs history and who deposes kings and raises up others. He also praised God who reveals the deep and hidden things. God gave Daniel the content of Nebuchadnezzar's dream. God furthermore told Daniel the reason for this dream. The first part of Nebuchadnezzar's dream concerned the Babylonian Empire. The second concerned the Persian Empire. The third concerned the Hellenistic Empire. The fourth concerned the Roman Empire. The last concerned the Kingdom of God. Thus, Daniel was able to tell Nebuchadnezzar the contents and interpretations of his dream, and Nebuchadnezzar praised God. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference, and when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible, and he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story, and then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.